going on Star Wars fans? Welcome back to another Star Wars Vintage Collection action figure review. We keep sticking with Gaming Grades. We're going VC196. We're going with the Scout Trooper. Um, with the Electro Baton. This one looks pretty cool. Love the um, 6 inch version. This is using an older sculpt for the Scout Trooper as well. Uh, just with the belt accessories over the top. Whereas the uh, 6 inch one was slightly retooled um, from its original release. But it looks cool nonetheless. Uh, like I mentioned in the Battle Droid video, these recently went on discount on Amazon. So I was able to pick up the four of them. Um, so yeah, looking forward to the next two coming sometime late this week, early next. Um, so I'll definitely have reviews on those when they show up. But yeah, VC196. Let's take a look at the Scout Trooper. Alright guys, here is the Scout Trooper from uh, Jedi Fallen Order, and it's it's not a bad one. Uh, it's a, it is a reused figure, obviously, the, all these gaming great ones are sort of repacks and repaints and retweaks and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, the Biker Scout, this one originally came out with the Speeder Bike back, I want to say it's like 2010, a Toys R Us exclusive, it might have been 2011. Didn't make an appearance in the Vintage Collection. Um, still hasn't made an appearance in the Vintage Collection. Hopefully, it could come out that way. Um, the one improvement thing, one improved thing they have done is the previous release, which came out in the three, three quarter inch black series back in 2013. Um, the joints on the, on the shoulders there were black, so they didn't bother to fix them up, but they've done it this time, so big respect for them for fixing that little little if issue which wasn't great um you know you can tell it's the one from the speeder bike because of the uh head articulation there so once he was on his bike you could have him really looking forward so but it works quite well um this time around he's not coming with his blaster pistol which would normally go in there and uh unlike the black series counterpart they just simply put the uh vest over uh regular scout trooper whereas the other one they'd actually taken away those pouches on the bottom there so but again not a big deal you know can't expect three and three quarter to have as much detail as black series um so i'm going to give them a pass on that one but we've got the vest here with the, which is the sort of battery pack for the thing and uh the black series one had that sort of cable that run down the arm connected to this which gave the uh electro staff the power and this is not a bad little piece. I like the little piece of electricity on it. I think that's cool. Nice touch. It's a good looking scout. Articulation's good. You know, this one was made to sit on a on a speeder bike, so he's got the ball hinged hips there. Uh, good joints in the knees as well. Good joints in the ankles. Good articulation all around on this one. Just enough to get him by. I'd say he's probably the closest one to the definitive biker scout that we've had um but yeah i think i think they could still do one just one better just one little bit better that said if this was to come out of vintage card and they were to call it definitive um without obviously the strap and just regular blaster you'd be accepted it would be acceptable i think absolutely so yeah, the thing with the sort of belt strap is that it does want to sort of just sort of sit up a little bit. So I'll probably even go to the lengths of, of gluing that down just so it is nice and snug, fits well on the shoulders and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, the back here, the sort of, you can sort of just see the sculpt on the bottom of that just so it rests on top of the uh, bit of the air on the, on the scout there. So overall, not a bad release at all. I could I dig this one. I could definitely do with multiples of this guy. I've always had a soft spot for the scouts. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I think you will get it. Holding two hands. Maybe if I try it a little bit harder. I'm resting on a flimsy cardboard box here, so. Maybe not. Maybe not quite, but it's okay. But I dare say, if we can get a three and three quarter inch Calcestis to go with this guy, that'd be. That'd be sweet. That'd be really nice. But yeah, in terms of my collection, I really don't know where to put him because, yeah, it's kind of part expanded universe, part legends, but it's, yeah, <laughs> they haven't really done any three and three quarter inch dedicated to Jedi Fallen Order yet, so. But 
but not a bad looking figure at all. I like the card back, I like the blue. Did a Fallen Order logo, which I think should have been on a sticker on the bubble as opposed to on the card. Um, Gaming Greats logo on the back, VC196. These two should be arriving very soon, the Purge Trooper and the Shadow Storm Trooper. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think of the uh, Scout Trooper from Jedi Fallen Order. Love to hear your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider doing so. It would be greatly appreciated. And uh, stay tuned for more content. Always more coming. Always got a lot to talk about. Lots of toys to show. Um, and yeah, I do weekly live streams too. If you Almost weekly. <laughs> I've had to go to calling it almost weekly. So yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Really, really do appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned for the next one. Until then, may the force be with you, always.